This is the third property we've seen in two days. And by now, in my imagination, you must be making up your mind. Yeah. I like the architecture. I like the front elevation. I like the lawn. But I seem to have a little problem with spacing. And what is going on here? Sorry, Miss Nigo, to budge on you like this. I actually brought in a client to see the property. Since she will be moving out in no time, she wants to buy it, and she wants to buy it at a good price. Granted. But at least you should have informed me before bringing whoever into this house. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Zina! Nicolankra? Zina Kadiri! You two know each other? We do! <laughs> Kyo, where have you been? For the past six years, Nigeria. Oh my god, G, you ain't looking bad at all. What's the secret? God. <laughs> Can you give me his address? I don't mind paying him his price, but say. So are you here now? In Kumasi, I mean. Yeah. Actually, um, I just came back from Germany. And I'm trying to relocate, as you can see. With him, I suppose. There's no him, Nicole. Why can't I believe you, Zena? You better believe it. You better be ready to tell me everything. Well, I have a story to tell. That's why I came back home, Nicole. I want a fresh start. I want to open up a new page in my life. Settle down. Raise a family and wipe away all the dreadful memories of singlehood. Well, that makes the two of us, Zina. After six years hustle in Nigeria, I thought it wise to come back home. You know what they say, a woman's life is like a flower. At sunrise, it blossoms, and at sunset, it winds up. Thankfully, a man came my way. And guess what? They're just about getting married. Oh. Are you serious? He just proposed some few days ago. Oh, that is so sweet. Well, talking about the house, are you serious? As in, you have that much money? Well, you're not telling. But if you want the house, that's no problem. To cut the cost of your hotel bills, you can move in for now. When I move out after my wedding in a couple of months, the house becomes yours. Thank you, Nicole. I, I really appreciate it. But the truth is, I can afford any piece of property anywhere in town. But for now, I really want to hear more about you and your dream guy. <laughs> oh, Jim. He's the best in us ever. He's so affectionate. So caring. He also has a friend. One you must meet. Hey, hey, oh come on, Dean. I told you, Nicole, we didn't along with a friend in time. No, you didn't. Well, like I did. Hello, ladies. Hi, guys. <laughs> well, could you stop in time before you ascend to cloud nine? <laughs>
Well then, this with my friend Zena. Zena. Dennis. Nice to meet you, Zena. The pleasure is mine. Okay, okay. Now that we've settled with the introductions, can we get down to munching? Because I'm starving. <laughs> Well, I take all the credits you need this. Well, we should be on our way now. My friend here is not a sticker for keeping late nights. That's why they think I Good night, darling. Shall we? Good night, darling. Good night, Good night, Good night, Good night, that all this is premeditated. To get you, to get your love life back on track? Yes. I really hope you haven't forgotten what happened the last time you talked me into dating someone. She was a saint that turned out to be the devil's cousin. The devil does not have too many relatives, Dennis. Please tell me you give it a try. She could be that missing rib. Okay, I hear you. Please stop sounding like your life depends on me dating again. You know, actually, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Enjoying the view? No. Your company. <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> well, flattery is a skill I'm not gifted with. And beauty? It lies in the eyes of the beholder. Popular say. Nevertheless, a true one. <laughs> you know, you're quite smart. And fun too. Sounds like a compliment. It is. <laughs> so, so, what are you doing this weekend? What would you like us to do this weekend? A lot. Like? Hey. Let's take a walk. Okay? Gotta need my body, shake it up. Got a thorn in my body, shake it up. Got a feeling in my body, shake it up. Got a girl with that body, shake it up. Oh. Get with it, run with it, shake with it, even play with it. But whatever you do, don't do with it. And if you gotta go, then rock with it. Here we are, home sweet home. Yeah. Dennis, 
You've ignited and sparked up the flame in my heart. I mean, this past few weeks have been very blissful, and every moment worth their while. If I have ignited the flame in your heart, you have filled the void in mine. <laughs> and I'll be eternally grateful. Will I see you tomorrow? Yes. And the day after tomorrow. And the day and the day and the day and the day after tomorrow. Oh, I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Oh, can I hug you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I know decency demands that you don't throw caution over to the wind and roll over for me. But do you really have to leave? Hell no. <laughs> Alright, you win. We need to with it. Shake with it. Even play with it. Do whatever you do. Alright, see you soon. Oh. <laughs> Looks like someone is having a swell relationship. Okay. All thanks to me. Hey, I never said I wouldn't give you the credit. I'm waiting. Let me hear it. Fine. Thanks for hooking me up with Zina. Pimp. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Where is all this sizzling romance leading to? A walk down the aisle? Well, I... I wouldn't say I haven't dreamt about that. Well, you know, I'm waiting to regularize my transfer before I go see Nicole's parents. If your newfound bliss is anything to go by, I don't see why in a couple of months she can be Mrs. Dennis Williams. Hey, don't, don't push me, Jim. Look, let me get to the point where I feel like being called a husband. Then we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Hello, Hassan. In 10 seconds, you hear a knock on your door. Go get it. Goodness. Good day. Good day. Is it a card? Yeah. This way. I said I had a doorbell. Whoa, whoa. Is that diamond? It's from Danis. Danis? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he proposing? Yeah. 
Zina. Will you marry me? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, ladies, I'll marry you. <laughs> then put the ring on your finger and take a step outside. In case you didn't hear me, I'll say it again. I'll marry you. <laughs> Love you too. Now, the fourth one is a bit awkward, but it's one I'm sure you've heard at least a thousand times. Life is a dice. You never know which side turns up. Hello, baby. And where is my lovely wife? On the way from the mall, going home to make something special for life. Skip it. We're eating out. Out? Who exactly? Well, I have a table booked for two on the prestigious Lehran cuisine. Oh, baby, I want to go to Zina! Oh my god! We've been able to stabilize her and primary signs, which include breathing and pulsations, have all been regularized. However, it gets more complicated down the line. I don't get it, doctor. Well, I'm afraid she's had an acute spinal cord distortion and crack. Yeah, and as a result of that, she might not be able to move from her neck downwards. Unfortunately, um, some of her facial muscles, like her her cheeks and her upper and lower lips have also been affected. And um, I'm anticipating a severe speech impediment as well as her inability to communicate. How long is she in this condition? There's no telling, Mr. Dennis. Except we wait for a miracle. I know how hard this is for you. No, you don't, Jim. No one possibly can. It's been two weeks after my wedding. Look, you have to stop bemoaning the situation. You have to stand up and fight. Isn't that what you're about to say? Do you know how hard it is to live with it? Do you know the strain it puts on our marriage? To be sure. I need her to be on her feet! I can't. Can't what? Can't 
what? I can't talk about this any longer. I need to be alone. And on this occasion, I've been here the whole day. Where have you been, Dennis? I was out. Out? Yes, out. I didn't spice to my life. What's going on, Dennis? What's come over you? What's the problem? Are you? All of you? You come here wearing this cloak of pretense, urging me to put my life on a hold and stay bound to a bedridden wife. Take the speck of your eyes, Jim. Wake up and face reality. She's... She's... She's not about to get off that bed and make me a meal. I'm never gonna find her waiting at the door with a bouquet of flowers and wearing a smile. <laughs> Hi, Dennis. Hi, Jim. What are you doing here? I'm here for a meeting. Our farm partners from Korea just came into town. And you? Me? Yes. Oh, I, I just I just came into... Sorry to bother you, sir. The lady you just came here with says I should please tell you to get a recharge card on your way back. I don't give a damn what you think, Jim. Dennis. Nicole and I will be moving back to the States in a fortnight. As long as it makes you happy, I don't have a problem with it. And who was that? Dennis. Who was he calling to say? Something about sending someone over. Sending someone over? Who? He didn't say. But he was in some kind of a rush. From what I deduce, I think the person is already within the premises. I'll go check.
Good evening. You must be Jim. Um, you are? Tracy Mental, the new caregiver. The new caregiver. And whatever happened to the Gloria? We'll be working in shift. I'll be here during the weekdays. And she'll be here only on weekends. Dennis wanted an older hand around. Well, I hope Dennis also informed you that he is married. And that it is his wife that you have been hired to tend. And as such, I would much appreciate it if you attach the prefix Mr. to his name. <laughs> Sorry, I remember that. Jim? Huh? Dennis says you should show me to the guest room. Oh, okay. Don't you have a job to do here? I do. She's asleep. Then go stay by her bedside. together again. Yes. No. Trust me on this one. <laughs> okay, give me the smile. Even though I can't see it. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> okay, cheers. Okay, I'll call you, I'll call you. seen her. Who? Oh. Dennis. I think he's sleeping with the so-called new caregiver. And I swear to God, I would confront him. Look, Nico, Dennis has been through a lot and I... Are you by any means supporting his act of immorality? For Christ's sake, he has a bad wooden wife. All I'm saying is that we should... Can I ask a question, Jim? Sure. Will you ever cheat on me? <laughs> look, look. Look, baby. I've told you this a thousand times. We have to be careful not to raise suspicions. Baby, we can't continue like this. I can see you when I want to. I can talk to you when I want to. I thought his whole idea was for us to be together. Okay, okay. Dennis will be out on Saturday. I'll stop by. And you know, a lot of things are going to be happening. Fine. You see how it goes. Okay. Yes.
How did she do today? Very well, sir. Has she had a medication? Yes, I just administered them. I had quite a tiring day. I will get a shower and journey in a bit. Oh. This kind of skipped me. Uh -huh. um, but I, I I just thought I should bring it to your notice. I return home with an old colleague and friend of mine. We both served in the same national service unit, but we parted ways. She's had a failed marriage and is presently going through a lot. I wanted to move in here with us until she can find her feet. Uh. She, she can, uh, I mean, she, she, could, she could come in handy and keep you company, if you don't mind. Uh. Gloria, sir. kindly lead a young lady in the sitting room upstairs. Sure, sir. Mm. She's here, Mr. Williams. I think we're leaving. Meet my wife, Zina. Honey, this is Ella. <laughs> Zena, hi. I'm very pleased to meet you. Your husband has told me a lot about you. I want you to know that you can make it through this trying time. God's mercy, they say, is available to those who reach Life is a road of many twists. Definition number five. Never come. Jason, why have that smile off your face and tell me what I need to know? Why not? To all your pain and fortune for it. scripted. She has got it all scripted. That's the game, Jason. Let's play according to her script. How much? Fifty. Thousand. Dollars. You think she's gonna wanna pay fifty grand? 
That is a huge sum of money. It is. When you don't have to share it with the lava. She wants me to kill Yolanda. Wow. I must say, I didn't see, see that, that coming. So, what do you want me to do? Kill her, of course. But with a blank bullet. Now about the cops. Fake cops. It's not part of the plan. There is one more thing I don't get. Where is all this leading to? I want him dead. But I don't want to do the killing myself. So we'll play by seeing the script. I know she'll kill him if she's done. How are you going to pay her back for the betrayal? That's what I'm paying you. Oh yes. I get it. <laughs> Hello baby. Then where's my lovely wife? On the way from the mall, going home to make something special for lunch. Skip it. We're eating out. Out? Who exactly? Well, I have a table booked for two on the prestigiously Hrank cuisine. Oh, baby, I wouldn't miss it for any of the. Zina! Now we are parents later. <laughs> In the meantime, <coughs> talk about you. <laughs> your husband <laughs> intimated me with the details of your condition. <coughs> oh my. Yeah. No. I feel very sorry for you. <laughs> no, you can't walk again. <laughs> Now they call you girls again. Mm -hmm. What is the name? What's the name? What's the name? Cripple? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Is it handicap? Or rather cripple? Hmm. Ooh, I prefer useless. Useless. That is what you are saying. Useless. Now. <laughs> I don't know if Dennis told you, but believe it or not, we are lovers. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. That's a little secret. Don't tell anyone. Shh. This is fun. Goodness. So, I hear the doctor said that your sleep is permanent, it's for life. What a pity. You really are in dying need of medicine. But I don't think you deserve it, and please don't ask me why. I beat you to it. I Beat you, Zina. Was that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What again? What? Was that? Is that Latin? Okay, obviously you've lost the clarity of your speech, sir. So. My gosh, this is going to be easier than I thought. Oh. Life is like a car. When it takes the wrong turn, remember 
you're in the driving seat. Ouch! <laughs> She could not sleep all night, Mr. Williams. She's been growling and mumbling incoherently. I came to your room to inform you, but you were in the bathroom. And when I came back, your door was locked. How exactly are you feeling, honey? <laughs> Do you want me to call Dr. Eunice? <laughs> this is how she's been all night. I have a feeling she's trying to say something. Well, I don't think we'll ever get to know what that is. I better call the hospital. Oh, good morning, Dennis. Good morning. Is, is your wife okay? She seems a bit... Well, not exactly. It looks like she had a pretty bad night. Oh. So just on my way to call the doctor. I don't think that's necessary. You know, um, I studied psychology in school. I'm sure she needs a little pep talk. She'd be fine. Oh! Why don't you get her a cup of tea? I'm sure she'd love that. Sure, Ms. Ella. Oh. And doesn't someone have work to go to? Get out of there. Chop, chop. Oh, oh never mind that. She, she's just not used to me. Bye. Go. Oh, take your. Oh. Oh. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Now listen, darling. Obviously, Zena, you haven't learned any life lessons. Let me make it crystal clear to you. You are not leaving this bed. I'm not leaving this house. Not in a thousand years. Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh. So why don't you play by my rules and be a good girl? Okay? And I might just let you live. <laughs> Besides, you know I have pictures of you and Andy nude. I don't think you want Dennis in on your atrocities, do you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> be a good girl. I might just smell a bitch, smell. <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> You'll be fine. Uh. Oh, Miss Zina, you're smiling already. <laughs> wow. I told you all she needed was a pep talk. Yeah. <laughs> so, how's her diet like? Does it consist of foods? Yes, ma'am. You know what? Why don't you go and make a food salad? I'm sure that will help clear her bowels. Okay, um, then I might have to go down the road and get some lots of Darling, take your time. Okay, well, I'll just sit and watch, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Shut up, please, shut up. Now listen. We are about to go on a little adventure. I'm leaving to see a client. I'll be back later than usual. You going now? Yes. Okay, that's great. Then you can drop me at my friend's place. Afterwards, I'm going for evening service in church. All right, okay. What did she say? I don't know. Oh. Oh my goodness. I think she said she would miss me. Hi. I will miss you too, okay? Don't worry, it's just something we psychologists learned. She said you can stay up late all you want. Just come on. You. Stop. <laughs> Stop it! Keep promise. Why am I wrong? It's been ages since I felt like this. And you haven't lost your clutch. Not so fast. Now you keep the engine steaming while I hit the shower.
I thought I had my phone ringing. No, no, it wasn't. Okay. What happened to keep the engine steaming? You want me to come help you in the shower? Really? We can do a lot of movie things. No, that sounds fun. Would you like me to do tea? Okay. And you have an idea. Oh, oh, oh. Mrs. Mm Zina, -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know what else to do. I've been trying this number for 10 minutes now. Mm -hmm. He answered once and he cut the line. And now it's switched off. Mm -hmm. I wanna know if you do care to share. Will it bring back the days and make me smile again? Will it restore the good and pleasant time I had in my life? Good morning, honey. Look, I'm sorry I couldn't get back early yesterday. The meeting lasted longer than I thought. And just when it ended, we had gunshots. And got news that the armed robbers were in the vicinity. I had no choice but to stay put. Gloria tells me it's the same story, getting hysterical, mumbling. But well, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm calling the hospital. Did I mention I'll be leaving for Takradi? When I'm leaving with the first flight tomorrow, I'll be there for three days. I have some business to take care of. I hope we can manage. Very well then. I'll see you when I get back. <coughs> I know you're going to miss me, but I'll be back before you know it. Will it bring back the days and make me smile again? Will it restore the good and pleasant time I had in my life? Missed me? Come on, get that black look off your face. Hey, Mr. Dennis, your wife's condition is worsening. And, you know, it, she has actually fallen short of all our medical expectations. And what's even more frightening is the very kidney condition she's just developed. I, I'm equally getting worried, Doctor. I really meant to come and see you before you called. I meant to mention this to you earlier. I know of a facility in South Africa that specializes in cases like that of your wife. With your consent, of course, I would uh, make the necessary contacts with the chief officers in the hospital and have her flown over immediately. That wouldn't be a problem. Father, I, I have relatives in Johannesburg and they can help with the arrangements. Okay, very well then. I will make the necessary contacts and I'll keep you posted. Great. Okay. Thanks, Doc. Okay. Hey doctor, this is the file for the patient in what to South Africa? It's for the best, honey. I mean, why keep her here when she's a burden? Are you sure that's a good idea? 
Because I won't have you flying in and out of the country just to go see her. That's totally out of the question. I just want her away and this provides a perfect opportunity. Okay. I settled them. Now, to more appealing matters. Did I tell you I went to see the doctor today? No, you didn't. What for anyway? Well, I've been feeling kind of dizzy and nauseous and I went in for a little checkup today. And it's just exactly what I thought it would be. Malaria? <laughs> no. <laughs> Try the word. Pregnancy. Tell me you're joking. If I'm lying, I'm dying. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Well, because it wasn't the day. <laughs> I'm so happy today, dear sister. As it is, you'll be out of our lives soon. Actually, very, very soon. Taking far, far away to a place. Where only pain and misery was that you right in the face. I'm here with a man you so love. Raising a family. Living happily ever after. <laughs> Dennis William speaking. How can I help you? I'm calling as regard to your wife, Mrs. Uh, Zina. What about my wife? She has been here over a period of 24 weeks, in which she has been uh, making a tremendous uh, improvement. Yes, and uh, I'm glad to inform you that uh, she has successfully passed her several rehabilitation tests conducted to ascertain her physical and mental fitness. Oh, um, she'll be discharging in another two weeks and uh, gladly return home the next couple of days. Yeah, thank you. He's attending a business meeting. With that, 
was his wife? I oh, hope you know I'm his only wife. And I'm about to take my place. about so where is she what the hell is she right here but, but I'm you Learn to play by the rules. But you know what they say. No one wins the game until the very end. Get the egg! Oh, me, Becky! Quack! Wifey! Do not to me! And get you out of our bed for good! What rightfully belongs to you? What rightfully belongs to you? Danish! Danish at me! Belongs no one. No one. Whatever. I found out all about you, Zena. I found you out for the viper that you are. I know how you snatched your sister's husband. Killed him and relocated to Kumasi. I know why you're in this marriage. It's not because you really love me. It's because you want to salvage what is left of your life and bury your past. Unfortunately, the past will always come to haunt the present. Definition number seven. Life 
is a shooting range. Never miss your target. Hello, sugar. Are you ready for that walk down the aisle now? Take me anywhere in the world, and I would say I do. <laughs> well, sugar, then buckle up. One more thing, sweetie. You are not going to be the way. Because she is waiting for you. I'll die. Okay. <laughs> But the book says there are eight definitions, but I can only find seven. Definition number eight. Life is not a bed of roses. They who live by the sword will die by the sword. Definition number eight. Thank you. 